Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on a patio. I'm calling this one sweating with the old guy. Smoking my 320 Dolomiti. with my favorite old standby a black irish twist or as it's now known black irish x it is hot and humid i just checked the the uh, weather report it says it's 88 feels like 97 I think that's about right. Humidity is 61, the dew point is 73, which means you're going to sweat. You're going to sweat. And I am sweating. It is 11.20 in the morning. Supposed to have thunderstorms at 2 o'clock this afternoon, which means it's going to get even more humid. Supposed to get hotter and have thunderstorms at 2 o'clock. It's just swamp ass city here <coughs> allergies are kicking in it's just misery right now Woke up, took McKinley to work, and my eyes were just burning, 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 burning. Took my allergy medicine. That helped my eyes a lot. So I'm um, feeling much better as far as that goes. I think part of my allergy problems is I haven't been smoking enough black Irish twist. That's the problem. Boy, that's some good stuff. That really is some good dang stuff. Give me a second here. I'm back.
Oh. drank too much coke before I did this video. <laughs> I found this channel on YouTube where this guy goes out catfishing and he records four hour videos of him in a kayak catfishing. Uncut videos, just raw, four hour footage of him in a kayak catfishing. I did not know anybody could talk for four hours. <laughs> this guy can talk. His, his videos are actually, for me, are very interesting because I, I, I love fishing videos. I love watching guys fish. <laughs> I know for a lot of people that's just like watching grass grow. Especially these kind of videos where it'll go, you know, 10 minutes with him catching nothing. It's not like the Bill Dance fishing show where, you know, he's catching a fish every 15 seconds or so. But They're great videos for going to sleep to. In the last two nights, that's what I've done. I just put on one of his videos. Because usually I go to bed and I'm... I go to bed when my wife goes to bed usually now. And she goes to bed really early. So I'll go in and I'll... Turn my... Put my iPad on. I'll either watch the baseball games because... The baseball games in California don't come on till like 10:30 at night, so I'll put my headphone in and I'll watch the baseball game till one or two in the morning, whenever it ends. One in the morning, usually 12:30, one o'clock, and then I go to sleep. And I'm just laying there, you know, in my clothes on top of the, the covers and stuff in the bed, just watching the baseball game or whatever. Because I have to let the dogs out and stuff before we all go to bed for the night. And I like to just be near my wife. Because I love that girl. And, uh... She goes to bed pretty early at night, usually 8 or 8.30, she'll go in and lay down and she usually doesn't go to sleep till about 10, but she'll get into bed and she watches videos or catches up on her emails or whatever. Then she'll say goodnight and she goes to sleep. And I'll watch baseball. And uh, 
last night after the Giants game, I was still wide awake. I just wasn't ready to go to sleep. So that was about 12.30 or so. Giants had a nice game. They walked it off in the ninth. They were down three to one in the eighth. Came back, and tied it up, and then walked it off in the ninth. Great game. So then I got ready for bed, and I let the dogs out. Climbed into bed. And I put this catfish show on, this catfishing show. Put my, you know, I always listen with headphones, with a little headphone in. Put that thing on. I must have been asleep in 15 minutes listening to this guy. <laughs> it is the best. I used to do that with matches. I'd put on his playlists his playlist and I'd just start with the first one and it would automatically just go to the next one you know and I'd listen to matches all night long and it was just so relaxing and put me to sleep so easily and now I'm doing that with this guy's fishing fishing show I'll put a link down below in case any of you guys might be interested maybe you guys are as nuts as I am about fishing it's it's an interesting channel he has some shorter ones some 30 minute ones boy the guy could talk man it's just non-stop talking for four hours he just non-stop talks for four hours guy doesn't even throw in a courtesy onion pause every once in a while. <laughs> I thought my videos were long and I talked a lot. When I was younger, back in 95, 96, when my wife and I, 94, my wife and I got married in 94. Did you get married in 94? No, 92 we got married. We found out we were pregnant on December 7th of 95. Back then I was big time into fishing. I was going fishing. My wife worked uh, the graveyard shift at the airlines. And I was working six to three, six in the morning to three in the afternoon. And so, I'd come home from work every night about six o'clock. I'd head to the pier and go fishing, and I'd fish till midnight, one o'clock, two o'clock sometimes. Get home, sleep for three hours, take get up, take a shower, go to work. the days man I very rarely slept more than four hours a day 
every day. Four hours was all I needed to sleep. And, uh, I'm catching up now. <laughs> Back then, I used to tell my my friends and my nephew and stuff. I said, "Every day you live one day, I live two. Because I was only sleeping four hours, and I was wasting no time. And uh, and I was playing music. I slept four hours and I was playing music or drinking or something and I was wasting no time. Four hours, I felt great. So I'd go fishing every night. Every single night. Most of the times, I'd be... It'd just be me, maybe one other guy, two other guys out there fishing at night. Most of the time, it was just me. I was out in Coronado. I'd go to the Coronado Pier. Guys would be out there till 10 or 11, then they'd leave, and I'd have the pier to myself for the rest of the night. On my nights off, I'd stay out there till 6 in the morning if I didn't have to go into work the next day. And then we had kids. And that all came to a crashing halt. So I used to sit and watch. I'd record every fishing show. I'd set my VCR to record every single fishing show that was on television on Saturdays and Sundays. And there were a bunch of them. I mean, there were just tons at that time. There were tons of fishing shows on TBS, ESPN, uh, the Country Music Channel, CMT. Just tons of fishing shows. Roland Martin, uh, Orlando Wilson. Uh, just uh, tons and tons of fishing shows that would come on and uh, Jimmy Houston Saltwater Chronicles The Fishing Hole but there'd be you know 20 fishing shows Bass Pro Bass um, bass masters and then during the week I'd watch all those shows once my, when Sadie was born I'd sit down and and uh, in the evenings I'd feed her and I'd watch the fishing shows and, and uh, you know hold her and pat her until she fell asleep and then I'd put her to bed and then I'd watch fishing shows for hours. Some weeks I'd watch them twice. <laughs> Especially Bill Dance and Orlando Wilson. I really liked those two guys and um, 
What's the other guy? Um, uh, Hank Parker. I really liked Hank Parker too. And I've got a bunch of those videos saved on YouTube. I've got like 500 of those old, the old time fishing shows, the Hank Parkers, Roland Martins, Orlando Wilsons. Whenever I see one of those, I save it so I can go back and watch it. It's just fun for me. That was a good time in my life. That was a really good time in my life, man. I, I just love that. I'd go out with my nephews, hang out on the pier all night. The girls never really liked fishing. They just weren't into it. So, anyway, just reminiscing. So, it's hot out here, and I'm going to finish this pipe up. I got about half a pipe left. I'm going to finish this up and then go into the air conditioning because it is just miserably hot and sweaty and muggy. i got to get a better fan for out here. That little box fan just ain't cutting it out here. I need one of those turbo fans. I need to hang it up in the corner over there and just have it blow in the hole. Maybe get two of them. <laughs> three or four maybe when it really is hot anyway I will catch you guys later have a good one God bless I hope you find something you truly love truly love to do that brings you joy And I hope you have someone you can share it with. Catch y'all later. Have a good one.